Imagine a road that suddenly closes, not for construction or festival, but because the ground beneath it is being probed, drilled and tested while the earth quietly swells. This morning via Napoli and Pozzuoli was sealed so technicians could perform precise seismic microzonation surveys, tiny bores, careful measures but in a place where the soil is literally alive. Why does this matter? Because the stretch of ground around Pisciarelli and Solfatara has been rising by centimeters in recent months, fumaroles are pushing stronger jets of steam, and mud pools are bubbling harder, all signs that something under the surface is changing. In this video you will get only verified on-the-ground observation. What the INV teams are doing, what the surface is showing right now, and why scientists and residents are watching every steam plume and every millimeter of uplift. Stay with me. I'll show you the exact measurements in VES monitoring, the real risks those measures imply, and what independent thermal data could finally prove. No panic. Just facts and what they mean for people living on this fragile caldera. This morning authorities closed the entire stretch of Via Napoli to allow and bathe technicians to carry out micro-seismic drilling and site surveys. The operation is deliberately light. The reported drill diameter is small and the boreholes shallow by engineering standards, designed to measure how the ground transmits and amplifies seismic waves. The stated goal is practical. Map local seismic response so that future shaking hazards can be predicted more precisely. But in Campi Flegre, practical carries extra weight because the ground has been responding in unusual ways lately. Residents watch technicians at work while traffic diverted a small but telling scene. Science performing necessary. Delicate checks over a surface that has already shown measurable deformation. Why microzonation matters here? Different patches of the same street can respond very differently to the same quake. In an area with recent uplift, identifying which segments amplify tremors and which damp them becomes a public safety map. The drilling itself is not intended to induce large events. The probes are shallow and narrow. Yet in a caldera whose interior pressure has increased, every intervention is watched closely by scientists and citizens alike. Local patrols guarded the closed road during the operation to protect technicians and onlookers, underscoring how thin the margin of safety feels when ground motion and thermal activity are trending upward. Walk the edges of Solfatara and Pisarelli today and the scene is unmistakable. Steam vents that normally sigh now appear more insistent. Fissures exhale thicker plumes, mud pools bubble with greater force. These surface signals don't prove an eruption is coming, but they are direct, observable markers of energy transfer from depth toward the surface. Field observers have logged increased emissions and surges at fumaroles that, when combined with sustained uplift measurements, sketch a picture of a caldera under stress. In short, the ground is doing something measurable and persistent, not a one-off puff, but a pattern. Uplift is the silent metric that scientists watch most closely. Even small steady rises in elevation can mean pressure is changing in the hydrothermal system beneath the caldera. Recent scientific work shows that such elevation changes at Campi Flegger are linked to rising pressure in geothermal reservoirs and to sequences of small quakes, a system where fluid movement, not necessarily new magma, can drive unrest. In short, vertical motion more frequent shallow tremors plus stronger fumarolic activity equals a set of signals worth monitoring closely which is exactly what the INV teams are doing with today's surveys. This week in Bay bulletins confirm a clear cluster of shallow seismicity and sustained ground deformation concentrated around the Solfatara Pizzarelli sector. The June 5 seismic swarm is explicitly analyzed as part of the ongoing unrest and monitored in real time. Seismic networks detect many small events at shallow depth while geodetic data shows centimeter scale uplift in the zone of maximum deformation. A paired signal that scientists treat as a systemic response, not a single random burst. Why do these two signals matter together? Because uplift without seismicity, or seismicity without uplift would tell different stories. Together they point to pressurization and fluid transfer in the hydrothermal system beneath the caldera. Ingve monitoring updates and recent scientific analyses 
All stress that this combination requires continuous high-resolution observation to distinguish fluid-driven unrest from direct magmatic intrusion. The microzonation drills done today target the exact problem. How local ground conditions amplify or damp seismic waves and where shallow structure concentrates stress. Micro boreholes and site response tests are standard engineering tools. Their purpose here is mapping hazard at street scale, not probing deep magma, but could even small interventions change shallow stress or fluid pathways. Recent modeling and r analysis show fluid diffusion and a seismic deformation dominate the short-term behavior at Campi Flegre, meaning shallow surveys are low impact when performed correctly, yet scientists and citizens watch every operation because the system is sensitive. Not proof of imminent eruption, but clear markers of a restless hydrothermal system and of increased fluid discharge at the surface. Can surface fumes and bubbling be used as early warning? They are an essential piece of the puzzle when combined with seismic, geodetic and gas composition data? Single observations alone are ambiguous, but a consistent trend across independent measurements is meaningful. This is exactly why additional thermal monitoring, including drone-based measurements and open data sharing, are crucial for turning raw observation into actionable understanding. Local consequences and practical risks are immediate and concrete. Amplified shaking at specific street segments gas hazards near vents, and infrastructure stress where uplift is concentrated. Authorities close roads and patrol sensitive areas not to alarm but to reduce exposure while technical investigations proceed. Those actions are precautionary measures grounded in instrumented assessments. For residents the key message is this. The system is active and monitored the pattern seen at Campi Flegre. Centimeter scale uplift coupled with shallow swarms is consistent with pressurization of a geothermal reservoir and fluid migration, not necessarily fresh magma ascent. Mm. Recent studies model earthquake occurrence as a deformation driven cascade. Uplift changes stress and can trigger clustered shallow quakes in a non linear way. So, what does that mean practically? It means monitoring must combine seismic, geodetic, and gas thermal data to distinguish fluid-driven unrest from magmatic intrusion. Authorities closed via Napoli and patrolled the area as a precaution, while Ang V performed controlled microsurveys. These are standard safety measures to protect workers for residents. The practical guidance is simple and evidence-based. Follow official bulletins, respect exclusion zones, report new crack steam anomalies, and treat road closures as protective actions. Recent scientific models frame earthquake. Clustering at Campi Flegre as a non-linear response to ground deformation and fluid migration, not a simple countdown to eruption. Uplift and swarms can cascade in bursts controlled by fluid diffusion and seismic deformation. How do we turn that model into practical timing? Short answer. We can't predict exact timing, only change probabilities as more data arrive that uncertainty is exactly why dense multi-parameter monitoring matters. Every new seismic event, every millimeter of uplift and every thermal anomaly refines probabilistic models. Recent ANV assessments explicitly link shallow swarms and centimeter scale uplift around Solfatara Pizzarelli, urging continuous observation rather than alarmist forecasts. The calibrated view active, measurable unrest that requires vigilance. Not panic, NV and partner networks maintain dense seismic and geodetic coverage across the Phlegrian fields, and surveillance tools now include thermal imaging and drone surveys to close observational gaps. NEV technicians continue microzoning surveys at Via Napoli to map soil response under shallow stress. Early readings confirm variable amplification in soft sediments meaning some blocks shake harder than others. This explains why even small quakes crack plaster or asphalt locally while nearby structures stay intact. Such mapping helps engineers prioritize retrofits and drainage works before stronger shocks arrive. It's data that quietly prevents disasters, not dramatic headlines. Thermal, seismic, and deformation trends all point to persistent but manageable unrest. A living caldera demanding respect and constant observation, not panic. Auk drill, plume, and tremor tell scientists a bit more about the underground pressure system shaping Pozuola's future.
Stay alert, stay informed. For more real-time Campy Flegre analysis, subscribe now and help us keep delivering fact-checked, on-ground reports. Because awareness saves lives.